So check out this beauty. She is very, very important to us. But this is a clutch video. So we're gonna jump into it and explain why. Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless Exotic Creations, coming to you guys with another video. And this is gonna be a very, very special one to building uh, our infrastructure on some of the stuff that we're working with. Uh, quite some time ago, we actually picked up this beautiful girl from Tyler, Tyler's Toxic Balls. Really, really good friend of ours. Um, talked to him pretty regularly, actually messaged him about this clutch. This is a really, really anticipated clutch um, from her. She is basically a yellow belly, double head, clown pie. But she also has a mystery gene rolling around in her. We actually spotted her at, while we were vending at Tinley and she had a sibling that was also a yellow belly double hat that looked absolutely nothing like her and she really stood out to her because about four or five times up and down her body she has the word god spelled out so we kind of nicknamed her the god snake and she will forever be here period she's never going anywhere uh so we kind of took that as a sign to pick her up while we were there and um tyler really really looked us out on this one so now with this mr eugene at play possibly we figured uh we we're a breeder two hour leopard clown head pied male and see what we can get out of it so this is season two episode six of what's in the box and uh we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride let me put her away so now that she's away um her pattern is literally remarkable. I mean, she is throwing all kinds of granite, everything. I mean, she's absolutely stunning. Uh, we've already researched so many different strains and lines of yellow belly. We definitely see the yellow belly in her, but there's definitely other uh, genes or specifically probably one gene in her uh, due to the breeding that Tyler did or the pairing that he did to create her. Um, and it was really, really a telltale sign when we peeked in that box and we saw some very interesting things. So we only had four eggs. This is her first year producing period. Um, I believe when we got her, she was already 700 grand. Yeah, 700 grams last year. So this is her first year breeding and she's already back up pretty much the weight and she's slamming food. So that's a great sign um, for us for next year, next season. So we're super excited about that. Um, but without further ado, we're going to jump into this clutch and talk to you guys about it. Okay, so here we go. Right out the gate. Look at that clutch. Okay, so I'll grab probably the easiest one to ID. And we have four babies here. Nothing too crazy with this one. Um, it's a clown. Look at the sidewalls. No crazy flaming or anything. White belly, clear belly. Basic clown. Still super excited about it. Let's see, what is it? This is a male. And what's pretty cool though about this specific male, dad is head pie, so we're gonna send him probably out for testing. I don't know if it's even worth it to test this one. This one got some really cool head pie tracks on it. So that's pretty cool. But this is a male. Clown, 50% head pot. Then, wow, look at this bad boy. Bright, 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 bright. So, what you guys are feasting your eyes upon is yellow belly leopard clown. I don't see that wild, crazy gene in this one. See the belly on the leopard, the dark pattern belly. 
very inquisitive snake at the moment. This is, let's see, what are you, what are you? Male, this is another male. So with this male, kind of see some tracking, but again, that's not 100% like the shed testing. By the way, check in with Charlie, Gray Rider Reptiles, amazing deals on getting those sheds tested. So this is a yellow belly leopard clown, 50% head pot male. Very bright. Okay. Another one now. This is one that won't need testing. It's got some yolk residual on it, but they've already absorbed. We haven't rinsed them or did anything yet. But what you're looking at here, very bright, love that head stamp too, is a yellow belly pod, 100% head for clown. Check that out. Very, very bright saddles. <laughs> we are definitely ones that are pro pattern. We like more pattern on our pods. Maybe we will change with the more experience that we get. But as of right now, I love a high pattern pie. But this one will do just the same. This is uh, in that double visual or double um, recessive project. So this is our yellow belly pie. 100% hat for clown. And this little one is, come on, come on, come on. Female. Wow. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this one is one of the ones where we really could afford to keep her. We'll see what ends up happening. We already have a few clown pie combos. I got to check through and see if we have any yellow belly clown pod females now the true head scratcher check this out so right away i look at the belly this is not leopard so leopard is not in here all right look at that head that head is crazy amazing head stamp on that one wow and now look at that crazy pattern sides. <laughs> so there is flaming on the belly. So this is going to be yellow belly, that mystery gene clown. That is also 50% head pie that will be getting tested. And it really doesn't matter, male, female. This is the goal snake of the clutch. This is what we preach about. This is the hold back. This will not be going anywhere. I actually already hit up Tyler, let him know about the clutch. I told him I'll send him a link about the video. He's also going to send me more information on things he's hatched. He has not hatched out the clown version of this gene yet. So... We actually beat them to the punch on that. Look at the tail. It's definitely a thick dorsal clown, but it does not lack pattern at all. Check that out. Wow. Very granity. Very flamey. Alien heads is wild. All due to the God Snake. Cool. So this ends. Let's see. I almost ended it without checking the gender. Let's see. Uh, wow, you know it's going to be a slow process. <laughs> so this is a female. Not mad at it. 
So that'll be two, three years to grow this little one out and get some really, really cool combos going with her. But again, maybe we'll strike gold next year with mom and have maybe 1.1 <laughs> again. All right, back up top. So hopefully you guys are just as excited as we are after seeing that clutch. Um, yeah, that one special clown one in there is a hold back. Definitely gonna work that project. Like we said, mom is never going anywhere. She's gonna stay here. She has definitely a sentimental value to us as well as a project value to us. Um, this also works with working within your numbers and getting your numbers up on specific things. While we continue to hunt down this mystery gene that's at play, we're looking at, I mean, literally looking at sold items, world of ball pythons all over um, Morph Market, uh, Facebook, trying to find comparative, uh, comparable snakes that look like her. Um, we're just literally looking for that gene to replicate itself um, in some of the other genes so we can kind of figure it all out. It doesn't have to be a new gene, but it is a gene that's in our collection now. So we just want to figure it out. Um, and we're, we're planning to do that by several ways. Hopefully panel tests on mom, panel tests on this snake. Um, and if that doesn't come up because maybe they haven't uh, coded that specific gene just yet, continue to research for other snakes that look like um, her or look like that one that hatched out and see what other comparables are out there for us to kind of compare it to. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to fine tune things, fine tune things and go down that rabbit hole. And maybe we can't say it's this gene or it's that gene, then it will basically solidify itself after putting it to pod and hypo and other genes and Mojave and seeing what it actually does when it interacts with those genes. Is it a standalone gene that can stand on its own two feet? and uh, doesn't resemble anything else. So we're gonna go down that rabbit hole with that project and we're able to do that because of the numbers. Um, so that breeding is literally a breeding for us. We were definitely blessed. This is why I say do all the breedings where when you're planning for your season, uh, structure it around what you need in-house, what you're trying to produce, what you're trying to move forward with, because here it is, we're trying to move forward with that gene um, investigate deeper, investigate further. And we only really hashed out to what we know right now, one of them. And we've got three really cool combos. We'll probably shed test them for, you know, um, uh, well, one of the pie it is Het Clown. So the other two were probably the two clowns where we'll test them probably for Het Pie. But it's still three pretty cool combos that now those will be probably offered up to you know morph market or if you guys need some of those combos hit us up and you know i don't know let us know hey you've seen us here on youtube messages on instagram let us know that you're interested and maybe you can get your hands on it before it even reaches morph market but again we always end up having stuff available because more often than not you are not going to hit the odds that you want to hit i would have been very very happy hitting four out of four with that gene in the mix and kept it all but I mean, the cookie didn't crumble that way. So it is what it is. We're blessed to have that one. And you guys will be blessed to have maybe one of the three that will be available. Anyway, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this journey. We're super excited. Definitely happy with this turn of events versus the last what's in the box video. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bells. Will, Flawless Exotic Creations, and we out.